Baker, I'm the hatchery manager here at the Ray State Fish Hatchery. Um, we're standing in the hatchery building and we're right in the middle of our walleye and saw guys spawning operation. We'll do about 70 million eggs to stock about 30 something million walleye, um, 10 million saw guy, and trades of six or seven million fish to other states. So when we uh, obtain eggs, we obtain them from the Cherry Creek and Chatfield spawning operation. We meet the biologists and get uh, fertilized, water hardened eggs in drink coolers, uh, bring them back to the hatchery. Um, we take multiple counts out of every jar to uh, determine the size, what they are per liter, how many eggs per liter. Um, we then take those and sift them to break up any clumps and put them into hatching jars. Each hatching jar will have anywhere from a half million to 750,000 eggs per jar. Uh, they're then placed on the battery. Um, on the battery, they're treated uh, for 15 minutes every day with a 35% hydrogen peroxide mixture to combat any fungal growth. And after nine to 10 days, they're pulled off the battery and hatched. Um, they hatch anywhere from 10 to 11 days. We put them on tanks, hatching tanks. Um, hatching tanks will hold anywhere from 800,000 to 1.8 million fish. And they sit in those tanks for a few days, uh, two to three to four days, to absorb their yolk sac and better develop mouth and GI parts. And at 14 to 15 days, those fry are stocked back into brood waters and eastern Colorado irrigation reservoirs for walleye fishing. Um, we do mostly everything from the I-25 corridor and east. The guys are over bagging fish. Um, when we have a tank of fish that's ready to be stocked out, we'll take those fish, drain the tank into a sump. That sump has a screen in it. Um, when, when the tank is fully drained, we'll take those fish and move them to the bagging station. And every 100,000 fish get put in each bag. So if we have a million fish, it'll be 10 bags of fish. We put a few gallons of water in there, put the fish in, um, pump straight oxygen to those and seal them up with a heat seal and put them in pizza bags. And pizza bags are a good insulator and we'll haul them to wherever the reservoir and whatever biologist needs them for the day. Our brood waters get three to four and a half million walleye. Our eastern Colorado irrigation reservoirs get anywhere from four to 5.7 mil, million. Um, some of the smaller, smaller lakes might get in the hundreds of thousands, but usually our bigger lakes are anywhere from three to six million. We're in the prize jewel standing right now of Ray Hatchery. Uh, we've got a great building here. We propagate, raise, grow out up to 13 different species per year, including bluegill, black crappie, red ear, tiger muskies, channel catfish, grass carp, walleye, saw guy, some sauger uh, occasionally, wipers and stripers. Um, you know, wipers will be a striped bass hybrid and uh, Crappie up to a half million, around a half million every year. Bluegill 300 to 400,000, um, 60 to 70,000 red ears, um, 14 to 18,000 tiger muskies. So a lot of a lot of fish coming through these doors. What's about including eggs, including uh, walleye that we hatch out, we'll do about 78 to 81 million total fish. Uh, we're open to the public 365 days a year, um, certain times of the year depending on whether we have lots of fish or no fish. Um, we encourage and urge everyone in the public to please give us a call, set up a tour, or just show up. We always have someone on site. Uh, we don't get many tours out here. We're a long ways from the metro area, so please stop by any time. We love giving tours.
today we're out stocking Pruitt Reservoir with 4.1 million walleye fry. The hatchery brings the fry in these bags that are insulated. And inside of that, there's another bag that contains 100,000 fry. And once we're at the lake, there's the fry. Once we're at the lake, we check the water temperature of the lake and compare that to the water temperature in the bags. And if the temperature is in within three degrees Fahrenheit, we can stock the fish. If it's not, we'll float the black bags in the lake, kind of like you would with an aquarium fish, um, until the temperature is within three degrees. And then we stock the fish simply by piercing the bag and letting the fish go into the water. We always make sure and back up the boat so that the, the fry don't go through the prop wash. And these fish, by the fall when we sample in the October to November time frame, should, right now they're about a quarter inch long and they should be anywhere from six to eight inches long. And then the following fall of their second year of life, they should be in the 10 to 13 inch range. And then the third year of life in the fall, they will be greater than 15 inches and the minimum size limit is 15 inches. So usually anglers can keep these fish in their third year of life. So each year we go out and we survey our lakes and reservoirs using trap nets and gill nets and electrofishing to see what the populations are looking like and what the condition of the fish are. You know, are they big? Are they fat? Are they skinny? Are they in good condition, poor condition, um, as well as numbers of each fish. And that helps us determine how many fish to stock the following year based on the sampling that we do each fall.